So Rebecca's about to read the question. Read chapters 1 and 2 of Ephesians. Make a list of things that Jesus has done for you and for other Christians. Ephesians is in the New Testament oh. after Acts. Oh, okay. Found it. So just read chapter 1? Yes, please. An apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the saints who are the Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. of things that Jesus has done for you and for other Christians, but we could just talk about it. What has Jesus done for you, Nebea? Well, he has done so much. He has um, given us all families that love us, and he has placed us in the right homes so that we can grow up to know him. And he has just been able to protect us when there was hard times. And, yeah. Nice. And you righteous? Um, he's kept their family together for uh, 14 years, and I think he just loves us so much that that's why we live here. Yeah. 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 So Rebecca's going to read the first book, or the first chapter of this book, then I'll read the second chapter. Oh, wait, can you buy it? Oh. Is it in the backyard? Yeah. We're filling up our water tank. Oh, I see him. I'm going to take a video of it. Here is the water tank. Because we run out of water. There they go. They're leaving. Bye. <laughs> well, Harry means bye. So, Rebecca and Jason are actually going to go to the market since there's a lot of us helping with homeschool today. So I'm actually going to read The Monk Who Shook the World, both chapters. Then after nine, Wittenberg once more. Stay where you are. Martin listened to the message from Duke Frederick. And muttered angrily in reply, was not in the war, once more, before the policy had made during three visits, Wittenberg was mostly in his mind. He only spent two days in his home city, but that was enough to show him the effects of that war. making us coffee. We all love coffee here. Well, except the kids can't relate. Well, sometimes they can, but they don't really drink it. But like the Wits, the Jason and Rebecca love it. Me and Alexa and Paul. Is that number two or three? I believe that was number two. Scoops. 
I've always, oh, I've always done like two or three. That's because you're one person. Oh, that's true, I guess. And Anave is pouring the water. I sometimes go a little over. That's okay. As you can see, they don't have any other size um, filters for this coffee. So you have to use big ones, but it still works. <laughs> oh, spilling. It, yeah. It's at five, tell me when to stop. Um, it's almost at five. Good job. Oh, that good? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, Pour this out. Put this on. Wait, that's one. That. <laughs> You've made coffee before, right? Yeah. Now it'll just take a few minutes and then it'll be ready soon. A year or two after his marriage, he wrote a hymn which swept across Germany and which is still sung all over the world. At the end of his life, Martin would sing it or repeat it himself. And the older he grew, the more true it seemed to be. A safe stronghold of God is still a trusty shield and weapon. To help us clear from all the ill that hath us now overtaken. And were this world all devils over, and watching to devour us, we lay in not two hearts so sore, not they can overpower us. And though they take our life, goods, honors, children, and wife. Yet is their profit small, these things shall vanish all. 